Hi guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I'm going to be doing my TBR for Nonfiction November. Nonfiction November is a month-long readathon and it's hosted by Olive over at A Book Olive and Gemma from Nonfic Books. I will put a link to both of their channels down below as well as the announcement videos. Basically, it's a readathon that encourages you to read more non-fiction. So if you don't read any non-fiction at all, then maybe pick up one book during the month. If you read one every month, then try to read two during that month. You're just kind of wanting to promote non-fiction a little bit more and kind of get you into reading it more. I have really enjoyed reading a lot more non-fiction this year, so um, I set myself a goal at the beginning of the year to read six non-fiction books and I have met that goal, which I'm super happy about, um, and I've really enjoyed a lot of the non-fiction that I have read this year, so I'm really excited about participating in this readathon. There are four prompt words for the readathon. Um, this year they are home, substance, love and scholarship. Um, so I was having a little look at my, my non-fiction section of my shelves and sort of thinking about what I wanted to read during the month and the four words just kind of weren't gelling with me so I thought instead of trying to kind of squish books into those categories and perhaps pick out things that I wasn't that interested in and wouldn't be motivated to pick up I'm just going to put on my TBR some non-fiction books that I've been really excited about getting around to um, and maybe you can let me know in the comments below how you think they fit into the four categories but I'm not particularly bothered if they don't. So I have got four books here that I would really like to get to during the month and then I've got a couple of others that if I finish and I have a really good month then perhaps I'd, I'll get around to those as well. The first of those is Another Day in the Death of America and this is by Gary Young. I've talked about this book quite a lot on my channel. I hauled it a few months ago and I included it in my five star TBR prediction video which I'll link for you if you haven't seen that. Um, this is a book which takes, I think it's nine different deaths, uh, oh no it's ten, so it takes the deaths of ten different young people in America that died due to gun crime um, and it kind of talks about the crime behind it and I'm guessing that we're going to get some of Gary Young's opinions on gun crime, that we're going to get some other information about gun crime in America um, and I am really really excited about getting to this. So uh, yeah it says on the front 24 hours, 8 states, 10 young lives lost to gun violence. So yeah planning on getting to that during the month. Then I've got here a book that I hauled very very recently and that is This Is Going To Hurt and this is by Adam Kay. This was only published um, I think at the end of September, I'd hauled it in September and this is a book written from the perspective of a doctor. I say from the perspective of a doctor, it makes it sound like a fiction book, it's written by a doctor um, and he talks about what it's like to be a doctor in the NHS in the UK today. I think this is going to be a fascinating insight into kind of the NHS, the system um, and what it's like to be a doctor basically. I think he says here that he's a, he's a junior doctor. Um, so yeah, really really looking forward to getting to that. It's only about 250 pages, um, so I think it's going to be quite a quick read as well, um, but really fascinating too. Then I've got here The Good Immigrant, edited by Nikesh Shukla. This is a collection of 21 essays, um, and they're written by um, black, Asian and minority ethnic um, people in Britain today. So it's right to explore what it means to be black, Asian and minority ethnic in Britain today. So it's just exploring those ideas um, and I think again, this is going to be fascinating to use this, that word again, I quite like the look of this one for a readathon as well just because I thought well I can read an essay a day um, and that will take me most of the month to do that and it won't kind of be too heavy um, but yeah I think this is going to be really really interesting I'm going to learn a lot from it um, and look at some writers um, or read for some writers that I haven't read from before. And then I thought to break up some of the heavy stuff that I'm reading um, in November, I'm going to read Bill Bryson's Notes from a Big Country. Um, this is a collection of, I think, articles that he wrote for a New Hampshire um, newspaper about 20 years ago or something like that. So he had like a, a small column for um, 
yeah, where he wrote about various different things. So there's a whole list in the front. Uh, so if I just show you, yeah, kind of there's a there's a whole list of them, and each of them are about two or three pages long, something like that. So my husband counted them for me earlier. There are 78 um, little I don't know, what would you call them articles or vignettes? I don't really know. Um, so I could read sort of like two or three of those a day, um, and that'll be um, that book done for the month. Um, and I think it'll be something to kind of break up the heavier stuff. I love Bill Bryson's writing. He's really witty, really funny. So I think this would be something light, a bit lighter. Um, yeah, like I said, to break up some of the heavier stuff. So those books that I just showed you were my sort of main four books um, for non-fiction November, for the main ones on my TBR. If for some, by some miracle, I fin managed to finish all of those, then I've got a couple here as just extras that I picked out that I might pick up afterwards. So one of those is 12 Years a Slave, and this is by Solomon Northup, and this is a, a memoir, so I think, yeah, um, and I'm sure you know the story of this already, but this basically documents um, a man called Solomon Northup, the author, um, he's a free man living in New York, and then he's kidnapped and sold into slavery. Um, and it's about his experience of being a slave. Um, I haven't seen the film either, but I've heard the film is amazing, um, as well as the book. So um, yeah, it'd be nice to get around to that one too. And then lastly, again, an option if I manage to finish all of those is The Gender Games by Juno Dawson. Um, I picked this up quite a while ago now and I keep looking it on my shelf and thinking I must get around to that, I must get around to it because I have heard fabulous things about it. This is, um, Juno Dawson's book where she talks about gender and what it means to be a boy and what it means to be a girl. Um, so it says on the front, the problem with men and women from someone who has been both. Uh, so I think that's going to be fascinating, this whole idea of playing around with, um, you know, our perceptions of what it is to be a boy and what it is to be a girl and how we take those perceptions with us and how those perceptions are forced onto us from birth and yeah I think it's going to be fascinating um, so it'd be quite good to get around to that one as well so there you go guys that was my TBR for non-fiction November let me know down in the comments um, are you participating what are you planning on picking up in the month of November and also have you read any of these and what did you think of them um, I'm really really excited about participating and um, yeah we'll see how it goes Thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!